All right, so a couple of months ago, I did Disney. I said, Disney, you want to give us a female silver surfer? Do it, please, please do it. Do it, please, because there will be ramifications to this. And true enough, sure enough, Disney stood up to the challenge and they are giving us a female silver surfer. And as on clockwork, as on cue, like they usually do, once they do things like this, because they know we are going to call them out, the fans are going to call them out for the um, agendas that they are trying to push out there with some of these programmings. They sent their goons out after the fans as quickly as possible. So you get Collider coming out with an article like this. Calm down, Julia Ghana as Silver Surfer is what the MCU needs. Why? Because there has always been a Silver Silver Surfer that happens to be female. That is their entire excuse. Imagine this, they go on to start attacking the fans, saying that a social media platform becomes more and more apparent, so does the volume of dissenters who cry foul whenever a casting decision doesn't meet their personal taste. While the smart thing to do would be to wait until the finished product comes out, this is the internet and speculations, debate, and criticisms, regardless of how justified or misguided it may be, is only natural. Still, specific uh, case of Julia Garner as the MCU Silver Surfer, or at least the first one, uh, the idea of the character being a woman isn't as big of a deal as some might think it is. You're saying this now because most of you who are from the Access Media or most of you who are from these outlets, these media outlets who shield for Disney and indeed for Hollywood have quickly ran off to Wikipedia to check. Is there a female silver surfer? Disney, you're killing us. You're killing us. We don't know how long we can keep defending you with all of this crap that you're pushing out there because they too know that Disney is definitely pushing an agenda. However, because they are either on that payroll or they need that access, they have to defend Disney whether or not. They're not the only one that came after the fans. As you know, you can see this other article from Yahoo, which is actually telling the fans, please be normal about Julia Ghana playing Silver Surfer. And in this article, you can clearly tell that they know and they're helping Disney push the agenda as they go on to say a very agenda-based statement like this one. We are sort of assuming that Shalabao's inclusion in the film means that the male identifying Silver Surfer uh, will also appear in the movie. Why did you call the male the male identifying? Because they are actually advocating for male in female spaces because they don't want male to exist. They want male men to exist as women so that we can all be the same, right? So when they're talking about the female silver surfer, it's fine. They can call it the female silver surfer, but when they're calling the men the men silver, uh, you know, silver surfer, it's a male identifying because it would be better if that male identifying is a female, right? So that they can play in female sports, enter female spaces, and market female sports bra, right? This is the agenda that we are seeing. We are seeing it unfold right before our eyes and we can tell that Disney is pushing this. They are pushing all of this woke messaging. However, who are they pushing it to? They are pushing it to so-called modern audiences. Well, let's see what the modern audiences feel about them casting Genev Julia Garner. I almost said Jennifer Garner. Julia Garner as Silver Soft Her. Well, these are the people that they're trying to pander to on Twitter and this is what they have to say. Not y'all having a meltdown over Marvel casting a female silver surfer when the real issue being that Julia Garner is a Zionist. Now, the people that they are qualifying as a Zionist today, who they are putting as a group of Zionists, are some of the people that came out in Hollywood who actually signed, uh, co signed a letter to the president of America talking about him advocating for the release of. Um, hostages that Hamas kidnapped on October the 7th. So everybody on that list is being doxxed out, uh, out there on Twitter, including Jordan Peele, who's facing backlashes right now. Jordan Peele, who happens to be one of the most wokest people in Hollywood, is also being classified as a Zionist. Jordan Peele is the latest celebrity to face backlash for their public take on the Israel and Hamas armed conflict. The Get Out director was one of dozens of Hollywood celebrities to sign an open letter to President Joe Biden calling for the release of hostages taken by the military armed of the Palestinian group Hamas. So 
he too is now being classified as a Zionist. I actually saw his name out there in one of these lists, the list of the people that were on there that they are now calling Zionists out there, even though some of them are not even Jewish or from Israel. As long as you do anything that is even common sense reasoning that, hey, please, let's advocate for the release of some prisoners. Oh, you are deemed a Zionist. And automatically now they are trying to demonize the word Zionist. That if you're deemed a Zionist, you are such an evil person. Regardless of the fact that these people, these people who are doing this, these woke revolutionaries do not know that their cause and their agendas do not align with the agendas of the uh, Palestinian uh, uh, leaders or the, 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 the so-called Hamas, that they will not call out for the terrorist acts. They will not criticize for the terrorist acts that those people have done. Now, I will say this because people have asked me my opinion regarding this. My friends asked me the opinion regarding this. And I said, I have no dog in this fight. The only dog I have in this fight is the innocents that are dying. And I am praying that the innocents on both sides stop dying. They find a way to come to peace and let the innocents on both sides stop dying. However, when I said this, I was attacked and they were saying that I am a genocide sympathizer because I refuse to criticize uh, Israel. And I said, no, you can criticize Israel and you can criticize Hamas. You can criticize Palestine as well. At the same time, both parties can be wrong. This can be true about both parties. However, it's not wrong to say, let's pray for peace so that people stop dying. That is it. That's where I stand. Because as soon as I got attacked and somebody said, oh, if you're not fully backing Palestinian in all of this and singing whatever it is they are saying, because I don't want to get that political, that you are a genocide uh, advocate or a genocide supporter or whatever. And I said, well, you're a terrorist supporter if you support Hamas. It's as simple as that. If you cannot criticize them, then you're a terrorist supporter because when we're talking about this latest conflict, they started it with the events of October 7, air, land and sea attack at the same time and infiltration, 1,000 people dying. I mean, if that happened to you, if your member of your family was part of those people, do you think you'll be out there protesting on their behalf? Or would you be advocating for what Israel is doing? Albeit, I'm not trying to justify that. I'm just saying, what would you be doing? Let's be serious and let's be real. People aren't real anymore, right? But in any case, you guys, these are the sort of people that they're trying to ponder to. Let's take a little bit more. Let's see what these woke revolutionaries, these modern audiences have to say. Someone else said, Julia Garner is a Zionist. I hate my life. And why is it? Because they were celebrating that Silver Sulfur was going to be a woman. You can take that, you normal fans. You can take that, you fans with common sense. You can take that, you classical original fans who actually wanted to get entertained by this show. You can take that, all of you. That's the real fans. But now they are hating their life when they found out that the person that is being casted is somebody that they wouldn't like simply because that person is born an Israeli or because that person actually is advocating for something that is quite harmless. Advocating for the release of prisoners is just a normal thing. But in any case, when it comes to these people, these are not jobs. It's not normal. Someone else says, JC Stan, let's not forget that Julia Garner is a Zionist woman and we should not be excited about her hanging out with Jody. Another person comes out to say, what, uh, what, with the, what with Sabra being kept in Captain America, Brave New World, Julia Garner being cast as Shalabal, and Ayeta Zura being brought back as Vanessa, it's insane just how hard Marvel is bending over backwards to accommodate Zionists. Makes me laugh. Didn't you guys know that Jewish people own Disney or something like that, majority shareholders or so on and so forth? Didn't you guys realize this? Who do you think they will be hiring? They're going to have to hire their people as, long, as well as other people, right? As well. But I would have thought you would just bend over and, and be happy with them. And this is something that Disney doesn't realize, that you will never be woke enough for the woke revolutionaries. The woke revolutionaries do not want tolerance. They want confirmity. They don't want you to have any civil discourse. They just want you to confirm with what they want. Look at this other person posting this in surprise. Julia Kana is a Zionist? Someone else said, I hate that bloody Nespresso ad because she's on Nespresso ad with um, George Clooney. You probably might have seen that ad. With the bloody Zionist Julia Garner who looks like a Victorian ghost and the insult starts and people start to insult this 
person that they have casted now if there's one thing that i have noticed throughout the time that i've been seeing everybody talk about this for the past week or thereabouts the major fans the major fans that are always criticized by your likes of your colliders the likes of your entertainment whatever the present uh, the feature presentation that says marvel fans are losing their minds over julia Kana casted as female silver so for people like this like articles like this outlets like this None of these people that they go after, Critical Drinker and the likes of them, have called Junior Ghana any bad name. Matter of fact, I saw Ryan Kino say that he loves her. Many people that I've seen complain about, you know, them switching it into a woman it has nothing to do with the person herself. It has everything to do with the agenda that Disney has been pushing. And given that we've seen what Disney has been doing, what they did with Darben recently, gender bending that person what they've done with marvel the og captain marvel gender bending him what they did with I ajax of eternals gender bending him we know that they are pushing this agenda by gender bending them and now we are also getting a captain america without captain america movie i don't know how that's going to go but it seems like disney is a glutton for punishment it seems like they just want to fail because here is the thing you are trying to go against nature. You are trying to go against God's will on this planet. And do not be deceived. God is not mock. For whatsoever a man soweth, thou shall he reap. And this is why Disney is going to continue to fail. In any case, you guys, those are my thoughts regarding this. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Isn't it so funny that the modern audience that they are trying to pander to is now hating on them and hating on this poor girl who just took up a job i mean if i were you i would have thought twice uh, taking up a job with disney but you know in any case you're an actress so uh, you're just trying to do your job right leave her out of it whatever you want to do but in any case you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below i want to thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed this if you did feel free to like share comment subscribe ding that bell for notification and i'll catch you guys again real soon take care peace and size out bye bye